if patient is having sepsis, is he allowed to undergo surgery? I think for this one, um, there's no... Well, having a sepsis is not strictly um, like an absolute contraindication to undergo surgery. But of course, we have to consider um, what is causing the sepsis. If it is the infection that is causing the sepsis, um, the the status of the patient, whether the patient is um, stable enough to undergo the surgery, the timing of the surgery, the type of surgery, and of course, the outcome that we will expect with this um, surgery. And we also we always have to um, balance the risk-benefit of subjecting a patient to, to surgery. I actually agree on this, Doc uh, Adi. Uh, if patient is having um, sepsis more off, uh, probably uh, you have to uh, give antibiotics more because post-operatively they are uh, um, cause for um, prolonged hospital stay and uh, that could add more on the mortality of the patient. For Dr. Yurin, gaano po katagal ang pag-UV light sa mga rooms ng patient ng may MRSA, ESBL, uh, at vancomycin resistant. Uh, there is a manufacturer recommended uh, duration, so uh, it, it depends on what type of the UV light you know uh, you are using in your hospital. But UV light it, it's quite fast; it's within uh, you know thirty minutes to to one hour. Yeah. So that's one of those advantages in in uh, environmental cleaning. That's why they like to use it. For Dr. Adi, is ceftriaxone still used as empiric treatment septic pneumonia? Um, ceftriaxone um, is still a part of the recommendation. So, um, so basically, in selecting for antibiotic, um, we consider the site of infection because with this site of infection, the possible causative organisms would um, guide us as to which antibiotic to choose. Um, whether it is community acquired or hospital acquired, so meaning whether the patient is um, exposed to the hospital environment, maybe patients undergoing dialysis or, like, as earlier mentioned, you know, hospital acquired infection, whether the patient has received antibiotic previously. So, this um, would be taken into consideration in, in choosing the antibiotic. But, um, yeah, Sef ceftriaxone is. Um, part of the for community acquired pneumonia it's still in our local um, guidelines no uh thank you
world moves in real time. So should our healthcare technology. With information needed, decisions to make, and experience to share. Every second counts. Live integrated tele-ultrasound enables real-time communication, remote collaboration, confidence, knowledge, and learning. The first ever integrated tele-ultrasound collaborative platform. Philips Lumify. Integrated tele-ultrasound powered by React's collaborative platform. Innovation and you. Philips. Is this... Is it true that betadine is already old school for cleaning and almost all doctors recommend chlorhexidine based agents as well as Qtacet? And the uh, antiseptics that were mentioned in the guideline were seven, at least 70% uh, alcohol, uh, chlorhexidine, and of course iodophore, of which uh, forbidden iodine is an iodophore. No? So you can still use it. Uh, Yung preference lang siguro ng ibang, especially among infection control nurses, is that uh, yung alcohol and then chlorhexidine, uh, they don't leave a, you know, that, that brownish mark. Um, it, it's, it's a clear liquid. No? So it, it's it, easier to, to examine the incision site as compared to your uh, povidone iodine, which leaves a brownish mark which is quite difficult now to assess kung to inflame your site or not. No? But but all of them are effective. Thank you, Dr. Ryan. What is the mean arterial pressure for norepinephrine, dobutamine, and dopamine? And when to start each pressure? We're considering um, sepsis um, based on the algorithm. So when we consider sepsis, um, there, there are um, those clinical evaluations. So the map of um, less than 65 um, and it also takes into consideration if the patient has hypertension as a comorbid, so the map may be higher um, in the recommendation. And um, there are um, initiation of fluids, and if the patient does not respond to the fluids, of course, the, in the sepsis guideline, the first drug of, or first vasopressor of choice is the norepinephrine. Um, it is recommended over dopamine because uh, dopamine has been observed to be associated with um, more tachyarrhythmias and which may result to a um, um, worse outcome for this patient. So that's why in the guideline, it's the, the first line is norepinephrine um, and then the vaso, vasopressine. Um, the use of other inotropes like the dopamine, dobutamine um, should be it's it it has to be um the patient has to be evaluated further um, regarding the indications of this drug considering the the comorbidities as well of the patient thank you so much dr Adi. uh actually in critical care uh yes that's that's true uh what we use is the norepinephrine um and the uh, the vasopressin as much as you have a point uh Five already of the point uh, five microgram already. You can start with vasopressin, and then uh, if it's still um, we we did not um, target the more than sixty five of mean arterial, arterial pressure, then we can uh, start on the um, other um, vasopressor, which is epinephrine. The dobutamine can be given if uh, the patient have. Um, documented decrease in uh, cardiac output and cardiac index. As much as we want to answer all the uh, questions here in the chat box, we are already out of time. I would like to uh, summarize the uh, what been mentioned of the nosocomial infection prevention. So Dr. Dr. Uh, Lurin um, lectured uh, regarding the uh, 
uh, increased mortality and morbidity, uh, the uh, prolonged hospital uh, hospital stay and ICU stay, and high economic burden. And he mentioned the two strategies to prevent no the infection control measures and the antimicrobial stewardship. And he mentioned the common nosocomial infection and uh, gave the intervention uh, for prevention. And it's all um, evidence-based, as he mentioned. And um, for the septic shock, and if we have septic shock, uh, we have already a mortality of about more than uh, more than equal to 40%. And antibiotic treatment is individualized. Thank you so much, everyone.